So let me get this straight. Um, I know it's just a movie and all, but like something tells me that this is mo- this could most likely be true, and we probably don't even know about it or something. I don't know, but just um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, basically, whatever you dream about, that's actually happening. But in another universe, you're seeing a variant of yourself just Well, I'm gonna be sure to take some notes on whatever I dream about because Yeah, just now just just this just, just just oh my god. Hello everyone, back to another movie review on the channel. So yeah, finally I'm now reviewing Multiverse of Madness and I uh, wish I'd be doing this on my phone, but uh I have a couple of reasons. They may sound excuses, but just uh so first off, I'm I've technically have fixed my storage problem, kind of. Uh, I did try to upload my movie vlog for Multiverse Madness, which I did, but uh, yeah, I don't know why I didn't saw this coming. Uh, it got copyright claimed because with the audience reaction or more of a theater reaction or something, but like just uh, I had to cut it out and say that's pretty much what you got, and I need to post that on my TikTok because for real, I, I'm I'm going somewhere by by the time school is out. Which would be my vlog series. Um, so, like, just I'm gonna like if the pretty much gonna be a long vlog series, and I'm gonna need storage room as I've recorded a 52 minute video. Yeah, but just um, anyway, but yeah. Also, I've used my phone all day. But either way, uh, I was I was thinking of sadly doing this mainly because I did I used this for my review for Doctor Strange. So just yeah, screw it. But um. So yeah, I, I've been meaning to make this review. Uh, sorry, it took me a while. Just uh, I gotta say, I I I want to say okay. I don't want to say too much because I want to save all of it for my uh, month review of May. But like this month has been weird. Uh, things haven't gone to plan, as in like there's some stuff I needed and wanted to do, but um, they didn't happen. But like just I don't know. Let's just say that month has just been um odd. Let's, let's just say that, but um, I have seen Multiverse of Madness twice in theaters from May 6th and Friday the 13th, which I wanted to see on Friday the 13th, because screw it. Hey, I could have watched another Friday the 13th movie, but uh, I had to see Multiverse of Madness again, and uh, I did, I had, like, just, I pretty much did, like, a, okay, I'm gonna be annoyed once I say double movie review, and I've said it, you know what, that does not matter, so, um, so yeah, I'm pretty much gonna use webcamera.io, uh, something I don't like to use, because I prefer, because I always stutter, and I like to just use my phone, because I could add, and certainly I could add on here with YouTube Studio, but not the way I add on Proud Director, what's annoying is that I'm used to editing on a phone, and I am not used to editing on a computer, as in, like, if I'm able to edit video on Power Director, that's going to take a while. I've only edited one video, actually two, and that would be my day 14 vlog of uh, Las Vegas Vlogs and then my Halloween vlog of 2020. Ah, oh, man, I need to... Hey, okay, I got off topic there, but uh, yeah, uh, since I made a review for the first movie, as soon as possible before I went to see the movie, um, I, I did use this website to record video, and so yeah, I'm pretty much going to be doing the same here. And of course, I took notes, so uh, yeah, let's get started. Multiverse of Madness, or Mom for short, which uh, I gotta say right off the bat, I think Multiverse of Madness is probably a perfect Mother's Day movie, if anyone gets the reference, because li- just, just, just let me know if you got that reference. But yeah, Multiverse of Madness is, I guess, a long-delayed sequel for uh, 2016's Doctor Strange, only that 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 it's not a long-delayed sequel, because to be honest, it was, it was supposed to come out like a year ago on May 7th, 2021, but got delayed two or three times. But uh, this movie was sorry, yeah, this movie was supposed to come out or like way before No Way Home. It was supposed to come out way like before No Way Home, since No Way Home was supposed to come out July sixteenth of twenty twenty one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh yeah. Doctor Strange was supposed to come out. Uh, Doctor Strange two. It was supposed to come out uh, May seventh of twenty twenty one, and then for No Way Home to be out on July 16th, 2020, which uh, was supposed to be a Craven the Hunter movie, which we all speculated, but thank God that wasn't, and that it was a, uh, just, yeah, 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 just thank God No Way Home was not that, and that uh, it featured the three Spider-Man. Anyways, anyways, so yeah, as I said, it was supposed to come out before No Way Home, but thanks to COVID-19, both movies had to switch places, something similar with Venom 2 and Morbius. 
And I still gotta cover a review for Morbius. Alright, got off topic there. So, uh, it is directed by none other than the legend himself, Sam Raimi, who brought us the Spider-Man trilogy with Tobey Maguire, but three things that I was, um, hyped up for Multiverse of Madness. One, it's directed by Sam Raimi. Second, it's, uh, gonna be the MCU's first horror movie, but... With the reactions coming, well, actually, this is what I, uh, like, back in December, I figured it was described as the, um, as a horror movie, but, uh, with the reactions that came out, uh, saying that, that it was just a full-on horror movie, yeah, that just told me, oh, wow, so it's actually a horror movie, and I'll tell you this, yeah, it, it's straight up dark. But, yeah, second uh, reason would be, it would be the MCU's first horror movie, and I have become a casual horror movie fan, as I guess I've gotten to horror with the screen movies back in October of 2020. But yeah, and third reason has to do with the multiverse, which I guess has become a big, huge deal for a while or has been a huge deal for a while. I, I don't know, but yeah, it has to do with the multiverse. But yeah, uh, third thought. But before I talk about my thoughts, I am still kind of upset about not being able to see it in IMAX and instead seeing it in Dolby H Mus. I, I pronounced that incorrectly. If you don't, it's spelled out A T M O S. But yeah. I'm never gonna get over it because I is just a big huge missed opportunity or stuff like just I'm never gonna get over the fact I was not able to see this in IMAX, but instead Delby, which I had a conversation with the teacher that she said that Delby is so much better with the whole uh I forgot what she said exactly basically that it was better than IMAX, but I had to disagree because just the reason I wanted to see it in IMAX was to have that theater experience. Because that's what that that's what surprised me seeing Noi Home in IMAX because I had that theater experience, and thank freaking God I saved that on my computer because, like, just I didn't, I don't ever want to lose those videos. And I do have it on my channel, so yeah, there's that. Sadly, you guys cannot watch it since uh, YouTube has rejected both my disputes, which uh, has been one of the things I've been upset this month. Actually, like, I've got like three, th like three things that have annoyed me from YouTube that would have to do with some of my videos getting blocked. Uh, one, No Way Home. Second, Multiverse of Madness, which I didn't bother doing a dispute on. And just instead trimmed it out. Because I, I, there was a 50-50 chance they would most likely just reject it. And then third, uh, if you've seen my recent community post, I was supposed I I upload, I made a reaction video to uh one to the first eight minutes of Stranger Things 4. Um I I probably should like I didn't I am like confused. How wait what, how did this happen? And then like okay, it would make sense because I totally like this is how it would look like if I were actually watching the entire episode just trim out the rest of the episode and just have the first eight minutes and just yeah it would make sense as i puzzle it all together and i'm hoping netflix will um accept my dispute because it, it's just a reaction video of the first eight minutes which some youtubers have like films talking about just so let's just hope they'll accept my dispute but still this month I, I, I actually i should save my thoughts with the whole youtube uh issue thing by by for my monthly review but yeah i'm never gonna go with the fact that i never got the chance to see this in imax and just yeah because Sadly, I did not have that theater experience I wanted, but I did have a few moments of gasps and just one clap for a specific scene. And by gasps, I mean like, oh, whoa, just, just a few people like, oh my god, or just, just people talking a little bit, but like just, yeah, just, just, yeah, that's just. Also, another thing I'm kind of jealous about, actually a lot more jealous, uh, actually, no, no, let me rephrase that. Kind of jealous, a lot more upset, but surprised is that uh, one of my friends, who is also a friend of D's, my brother, Shane, got to see it on a Saturday, which would be May 7th of 2021, which was supposed to come out. But still, he got to see, so Shane got to see it on Saturday, and uh, he told me, here's what he told me. His theater went nuts, but here's what surprised me. People can still go nuts seeing a movie, whether it's Marvel or Life, people can still go nuts. On a Saturday? I feel it's only on a Friday or a Thursday. And then Saturday, they all can just be like, chill and I'll have a quiet theater since they already know what's going to happen. But no, they can still go nuts. Can they still go nuts on a Sunday? But yeah, not only it upset me that he got to see it in IMAX and have that theater experience, but it, it's a, it mainly just surprised me that people can still go nuts on a Saturday. Like, just, like, like, does that, does that, like, I'm like trying to, I'm just processing my thoughts. And because just, I mean, when I think about it, I, I, it would make sense because technically, if you see my movie vlog for Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the, for the, the people, there was, I kind of had an audience reaction for the post credit scenes of Sonic 2, 
as someone screamed in the theater, just like, Whoa! like, like just, I'm just, I'm just mainly surprised that people are going to go nuts on a Saturday. So just, uh, yeah, well, that's some, that's something new to know. Still, I don't want to complain or talk about it because it's just going to make me more upset. And just, 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 just pretty much, I just don't want to complain or talk about it for a couple of reasons, which, uh, what would the reasons be? Oh, it would make me sound like I was ungrateful on seeing, like, just, I don't want to sound like I'm ungrateful. I'm glad, I'm glad I was able to check this movie out. So, yeah, thank God for that, which, uh, if I, if anything, I should be glad I was not spoiled on the internet. Sort of, which I'm going to try and get on that part. If I even, wrote something about that on here. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm never going to get over the fact I never got to see it tonight, Max. But still, I, I, did, I still don't want to talk about how upset I am because I am I was already in a bad mood. Actually, I'm, I don't know if I'm still in a bad mood right now because, like, around, like, the first week of May, it was a it was a bit of a rough week, especially with my experience with Multiverse Madness. But, and the reason for that is because, um, if you've not seen my movie vlog, I, I had... I have only gotten bits of it because I couldn't record the entire thing because I had storage problems. I would only have like 17 or worse, seven minutes left to record. And I was just annoyed with that. So I spent the entire uh, trip, like as we were in the car on the way to the theater, I spent the entire trip just going through storage, fixing up my god dang phone. It was so frustrating and annoying. And it got, it was again a little, a, a little annoying as I was recording some bits in the theater, even though... My theater did not went nuts. I, there was a few gas moments, and and by ga- gas, not gas, I knocked on correctly. This is why I prefer to record on my phone. But a few gasp moments, and just one clap scene for just one clap for a specific scene, which I will post on TikTok because I have got that on camera, which I still need to do. So by the time I'm done making this video, I'm gonna go post it on my TikTok. All the theater audience reaction on my TikTok, like it's like. Like how I've done with Noe Holmes. Since I have, I do have some clips of my audience reaction from Noe Holmes. So if, if you if you want to go check that out, it's on my TikTok, Matro thirteen twenty four. So yeah. Anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, I got off topic there. Um. So yeah, I, I was again, it was just getting frustrating. You know, it was just, I was having a hard time with my experience, but still. Anyway, it's just all with the, all of my thoughts on the movie. So after seeing it uh twice now since I saw it on Friday the thirteenth, um. I'm going to agree and disagree on some topics, and yeah, I could say it's a good MCU movie with flaws, but screw it. I'm calling it a masterpiece, and yeah, I'll agree with some people. It it, it could have been better, yet I'm still going to call it a freaking masterpiece. Even though I didn't have the theater experience with Multiverse of Madness, I still had a lot of fun with this movie. Doctor Strange 2 could be a guilty pleasure of mine, but let me just say this right off the bat. This movie was a freaking wild roller coaster, and it was pure man. Like you've not seen my quick review, but also movie vlog. I had said that it was like an effing roller coaster, which will be in the movie vlog. In the movie vlog, I said that it was actually both in my quick review and movie vlog. I said that it was an effing wild, like an effing roller coaster, but pure mess. And that I could just say just two words to describe this movie. Pure madness. But most of all, they were not kidding that this was a horror movie, because just, it's straight up a horror movie. And it's all thanks to Sam Raimi, because he's not only a superhero director, he's a horror movie director. And also, if, you, if you're wondering what this is, it's a pimple patch. This is what it's like to go, this is what, this is what it's like being a teenager. You get pimples. Because you're going through puberty. That, that, I do not, I do not need to talk about that. Whew, I hope the thermostat's not broken again, because, like, uh, a few weeks ago, the, our house was extremely hot. We had fans on, yet they weren't doing crap. Like, just, I don't know. I gotta have to double check with that, but I'm hoping it's not broken, because that would be bad news. We just got it fixed a while ago, but just, anyways, okay, off topic there. Anyway, so, here's what I liked about the movie. It's nothing like we've ever seen in the MCU. And I liked how different it, it is compared to the other MCU projects. And, yeah, it probably breaks the MCU formula that I really care about, I guess. But I loved how it was different. And that the fact that that not only Kevin Feige let Sam Raimi have full control with this movie, but what's crazy about this movie is that it's the MCU's first horror movie. I could make a video just talking about my thoughts on how, what, like, like basically, uh, for example... Kevin Feige described Loki as the MCU's first crime thriller. That's pretty much similar with how how Multiverse of Madness would be described as the MCU's first horror movie. Like, just it's hard to explain, but like, just 
I, I don't know. I could, I could mainly just do a TikTok about it, but like just, just that I that's just for example, it's just like Loki is a crime thriller, and Multiverse of Madness is a horror movie. Like, I, it's hard to explain, but just, just. Oh man, I do hope we get. I, I gotta say, I do hope we get more horror movies in the MCU because just. <laughs> I, I don't know. Now, I've never seen most of Sam Raimi's horror movies, but if I remember correctly, he worked on a movie that I watched one time called Crawl, which came out in July of 2019. And holy crap, which is tinnily an S bomb in here, but uh, I have to say crap because I can't play it in here. I can only do that with my phone. Sadly, I can't, because I was using it all day watching TikToks. Just, just, okay, I got a topic there, but yeah, it's starting over there. And I'm gonna, as I'm done making this, making this review, I'm gonna go upload my funny reaction to TikTok. Still, holy crap, did that movie scare the living crap out of me. So, um, I, so yeah, I, I, so pretty much I've seen what he can do with horror thanks to me just watching Crawl, which, uh, once I have the chance to watch that movie, I'm gonna be covering a review of it because... Yeah, I have some things I would like to talk about, because just, let's just say it, it felt like I was, like, my mom, like, it just felt like that, this is how, the way I was reacting to the movie, my mom would react the same way, because just, oh my, how long has it been since I've seen Crawl? Anyway, so thoughts on characters, so I hear people complain about the movie not being a Doctor Strange movie, but I could agree with Soups about how, Wanda stole the show with Multiverse of Madness, like how Thanos stole the show with Infinity War. But if anything, Doctor Strange and the Scarlet Witch are the stars of the movie, especially with Celine. Okay, forgive me if I can. I I should be able to pronounce her name right. Uh, Shelly Gomez. Shelly, uh, Shelly, not it's definitely not Selena Gomez, which is for some reason come like that sounds familiar. Uh, Shashi Gomez. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I'm so bad at pronouncing stuff, especially when it comes to names, but just, um, okay, so, okay, okay, you know what, I'm gonna just look it up, because it, it's just killing me right now. I would, I need to, okay, okay, how do I, uh, pronounce, uh, hold up, hold up. I need to pronounce this right. I have to. I just can't, I can't. I'm not gonna be able to live with myself just not pronouncing this correctly. Okay, come on, is there a way I can pronounce her name? Like, how do I pronounce I pronounce your name. Uh, okay, hang on a minute. Bear with me. How to pronounce? Yes, how to pronounce? How to pronounce her name? Uh, oh, right here. Oh wait, I have the thing muted. Hold on. Sochiel Gomez. Sochiel Gomez. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. So, uh, especially with Sochiel Gomez portraying as Amanda Chavez, who I've honestly been excited to see because now, because like just. Okay, two reasons why I've been excited to see her character in the movie. First off, just, uh, yeah, I've just, basically, they've been hyping it up, and I'm just like, oh, okay, let me join the hype train on that. But yeah, I've been excited, I was, prim basically, what I'm trying to say is that I was looking forward to see her character appear in the movie. And the second reason would be that, uh, uh, hold on, hang on, hang on a minute, I, this is why I, like I said earlier, I prefer to record on my phone. Uh, so yeah, the second reason would be, we all know that the we all know from the beginning that she was going to be a fan favorite like Elena or Kate Bishop, but still she did she did a fantastic job in this movie, and I will be looking forward to see her again in multiple MCU projects. But I think she she, she she should get her own MCU project, right? Whether it's a Disney Plus show or a movie, like like Marvel, who was a favorite and give her an MCU project, her own MCU project. Of like I think it, I think there's been some potential there, but yeah. Uh, so pretty much the first reason would be I've been uh excited to i've been excited on seeing social gomez as america chavez uh, uh be appearing in multiverse of madness and then second we all know she'd be a fan favorite like for example like i said earlier with yelena who would be black widow's sister but also kate bishop and uh another thing which i probably i'll probably have this as my third reason um so yeah, I will be looking forward to see her again in multiple MCU projects, especially if it's a Young Avengers movie, which I am dying to have right now because Marvel Studios are clearly setting them up. I mean, I'm hoping they are because just I I'm hoping they are because I'm just I'm just dying for another Avengers movie because like if like as soon as there's an Avengers movie going out, like if it's Age of Ultron or Infinity War and Endgame, yeah, I I just go full soups mode and just. Yeah, I just get hyped up, and I'm just dying for Avengers 5, or a young Avengers movie, new Avengers, whatever. I just need another Avengers movie. Also, some people have been saying that it doesn't live up to the title, but, uh, with me, 
saying that it was pure menace, yeah, I think it does live up to the title for Multiverse of Madness. But um, here's what I wanted to see from Elizabeth Olsen as the Scarlet Witch. So after WandaVision, along with seeing the trailers, I knew that she was going to be super powerful and people would have been speculating and theorizing that. Actually, no, wait, scratch that. People had been speculating. Sorry, I, I misread the thing. I I do write super fast, but just what I was trying what I was trying to say was that people had been speculating and theorizing that she'd be the main villain from Ultra for the Madness, and I tried to deny it, but uh, this shouldn't even be a spoiler because uh, this shouldn't be a spoiler at all because she's literally the main villain, and I think was this this oh okay okay so yeah she was literally because she, she's literally the main villain of the movie and i think she was destined to be the villain from the start because it's her destiny as she is the scarlet witch in the comics and another thing to mention about so um there's a deleted opening scene that i was a bit upset about but when i thought about it yeah i'm kind of glad marvel cut that out because it would have been a waste of a post credit scene as i mentioned in my review for dr strange so in the opening it would have showed r616 mordo encounter encountering with with one now Maximoff as he would try to I guess kill her take her power which uh let's just say the tables would have had turned and uh he would have been dead and it would have revealed that the that Wanda would be the main villain of the movie so yeah that pretty much would have gave it away easily just get it would have just gave it away for like the first 10 minutes I guess but uh and and we would have been upset that they that we would have killed off our 616 Mordo but like, but thank God they cut that out. So, yeah, and I think, so I'm glad they cut that out, and I would pretty much prefer this opening scene that we got for Mojo vs. Match, which uh, starts off pretty fast, and I, and I and I dig, and I dug it. But like I said earlier, people have been speculating that she would be the main villain for Mojo vs. Madness, and I tried to deny it, but it sh like I said, it shouldn't have been a spoiler at all, or a surprise at all, because she's literally the main villain of the movie, and was destined to be from the start. And surprisingly, uh, as I found out about this recently, uh, I guess two weeks ago, uh, my dad knows a little bit about the Scarlet Witch from the comics because we had a conversation about this downstairs in the kitchen with Patricia, and he was just like, like I think my I think Patricia said that she didn't like how uh, the Scarlet how Wanda was bad in the movie, but like Dad was talking about some stuff. Basically, he was talking about what he knew about the Scarlet Witch because. Like, basically, my dad knew a little bit about the Scarlet Witch, and I was, like, surprised about it. I'm like, oh, my God. How do you know about this? But just, like, like I guess, like, I've been had this thought for a while. I mean, I've, I've had this thought for a long time, and that just, Scott, like, one of Maxwell had, was destined to be a villain from the start, whether it be Age of Ultron or Civil War or any MCU movie. Like, she's been, because, like, as, as I've heard from, as I, I like, I guess I hear, not here, because I hear, I, I, I'm not talking correctly. Um, I just hear a couple of things that, that prim, because uh, from what I've heard is what I'm trying to say is that she's, she's technically a villain from the comics. And I'm like, okay, well, that's interesting. So just, yeah, I've had to start for a while that she, she's guessed that she's been destined to be the villain. But what I wanted to see from her in Multiverse of Madness was her as a major threat. I wanted to feel this presence of the Scarlet Witch because I knew how powerful and a major threat she would be, and, and I wanted it like I wanted it to feel like once she appears on screen, I feel a oh crap, I'm screwed, and I got what I wanted because she's like just oh wait, wait hold on hold on hold on god dang it I hate it when this happens uh cause... okay 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 sorry I mi I messed up something all right so. Um, so yeah, like I said earlier, I wanted it to feel a, oh crap, I'm screwed moment, and yeah, like I said, oh, oh well, a, a few seconds ago, I got why I wanted, because, because she, she's a major threat in this movie, and surprisingly, it's freaking scary, and that is the magic of Sam Raimi, that, just, that, that, the reason, like, the reason that she's freaking scary in this movie, is because of Sam Raimi, but yeah, I'm not joking, she's, she's, she's legit scary in this movie, so, uh, yeah, um, I'm hoping I'm hoping you have not taken your kids to see this movie because I have no idea if Ryan's been traumatized or not because he did saw the movie with us and my god, it looks like I'm sweating. I I'm gonna go check on my dad real quick if the AC is or the thermostat is okay. All right, so uh, my dad told me that the AC is all right and that uh, 
that would be, he told me to not open my window. I was going to open it just to let out some air about that. It's hot outside, and he would, uh, I would just leave my door open. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to... That thing's moving, right? I cannot tell. Okay, off topic. But yeah, like I said earlier, um, not only is she a major threat in the movie, but she's surprisingly freaking scary as hell. And it's all thanks to Sam Raimi himself. But um, speaking about WandaVision, um, I don't know if I could rewatch uh, WandaVision. I, 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 I don't know if I could rewatch one of my personal favorite series from last year after seeing the Multiverse of Madness twice now. Because she does unspeakable things in this movie. And I and I have heard fans having trouble liking her, and just basically, like basically, uh, some people have been saying, especially film stock, that this is pretty much Phase Four, uh, Phase Four's version of Civil War. That Multiverse Madness is pretty much Civil War for Phase Four. I could technically howdy, Rylan. Well, I should have saw that coming. Pretty much, this movie would pretty much uh, divide some fans. Like this would be a dis. I, fr- I don't know how to explain, but, like, just basically, fans will be divided after this movie. You know, some people will be defending it. Some people will just, I don't know, but, like, uh, some, yeah, pretty much some people have been having trouble trying to, um, like Wanda in the movie as she's done some unspeakable things. Like, just, I mean, I mean, that, like, just, uh, I have, I've lost track. I'm sorry. I've lost track. Like, just, still, I have heard fans having trouble trying to like Wanda in the movie and that, they did not know that one. They like, they pretty much they wouldn't. They didn't know the one that we knew. Like we like as we're watching as you're watching this movie, you're not gonna rec- you're not gonna recognize the one that you knew from the past MCU movies. You're gonna you're just be like, is this the same one that I've been following since Wanda Vision? Cause just um, I I don't I don't think I don't think that's the same one that I know. I got all that in here, but. I was fine with what she was doing. I was enjoying seeing her as a villain in the movie until she crossed the line. Like I'm just like I was just thinking that just uh okay I can now see why. But uh I'm I'm chill. I'm I'm, I'm actually kind of chill. How she, I'm kind of chill of just what she's doing. And I, I know that I probably shouldn't even say that. You probably should be pissed at me for saying that. But like I'm kind of chill. What what the fuck? Here's some of the negatives I have for this movie, and it has to do with her killing some specific people that I cannot say, which, technically, you've all have seen the movie, yet I'm still doing a spoiler-free review, and hopefully tomorrow I'm going to cover spoilers, because, yeah, I'm definitely going to want to talk some spoilers, and it's, uh, yeah, it may be stupid that I'm just doing a spoiler review now, but, um... I, okay, I want to say, I want to... I technically have sort of done this before with No One Home, you know, because uh, a few days later, I had I did a spoiler review. And I tried doing a spoiler-free review. Not spoiler-free. A spoiler. Like, just let me rephrase that. A few days later, after seeing No Way Home, I tried... I, I did make a spoiler-free review after seeing the movie for, like, uh, five days later, I guess. Then tried doing a spoiler-free... Spoiler! Full spoiler review! But uh, we, were moved, we were moving to a new house as we were in, like, a hotel. And, but just still, that's pretty much... What I what I've been what I'm doing right here at the moment, except uh, it's been more than days, and I'm sorry for that. School, I'm gonna be getting out. Of, I'm I'm gonna be out of school by Wednesday, so uh, be sure to tap the notification, ring the bell, because I will be making a video if I can. If my just well, still just be sure to have the notifications on. But yeah, um, so one of the negatives I have for this movie has to do with Wanda killing some people that I, I cannot say, but you probably have some idea what I'm talking about. Not the movie's been out for like three weeks now, um. I'm sorry, yeah. So, I'm kind of pissed at her for that, but still. And I still enjoyed her as a villain for this movie. And another negative I got is for the runtime. After seeing it for the first... Uh, after seeing it, I feared I was going to be fine with it, but now I'm I'm not... I'm now wishing that they didn't cut out 40 minutes of this movie. And sadly, hate to say this movie wasn't... Th- this movie... Well, sad, I hate to say this. Sad, I hate to say this, is what I'm trying to say. I hate to say this, uh, this movie won't be for everyone for a couple of reasons, especially with the cameos. Speaking about cameos, uh, if you're ho- if you're hy- if you're hyping yourself up with the movie because of the cameos, I suggest taming those expectations. For those of you that have not seen the movie, and if you have not, I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye, and that is a Sam Raimi reference from one of the same in the Spider-Man trilogy. Huh? Huh? Let's say though, if you've not seen the movie, I don't know what's wrong with you. You need to go see it right now. But anyways, yeah, as I was saying, um, 
Yeah, I said su- I would I suggest taming those your expectations with cameos because there isn't like a crap ton in here, but there's still some awesome cameos. But for the multiverse, we only go to like two different mul- universes in this movie. So uh, the only thing you'll be disappointed with is if you hype yourself up for the cameos and for the multiverse jumping. Now, I guess the negatives I got for our. Uh, yeah, I I can. I'm sorry. Oh God, it looks like the writing has been faded away. Like just this is what it looks like right here. You know, just still. I probably should have written this in pen, but it's always good to write in pencil because you can always erase it. But anyways, oh yeah. Uh, now I guess the things I got are yeah. I probably expected a crap ton of cameos. There was one I was hoping for, but Sally, whoever I wanted to appear, wasn't in this movie. And speaking about that, um. I won't say, okay, so you probably have heard of this, but they, there has been reports going around as in either rumors or official stuff saying, that, like, basically there's some reports from the MCU Direct, which I suggest following their source, their source. I Not that it's like a reliable source or anything. It's just, basically, it's a news update. I, I like to keep up with the MCU Direct on a bunch of MCU content that would be MCU and non MCU related, like for like Morbius, for example. But just there's some del- there's so there's rumors going around about some specific deleted scenes that I'm just like, are you freaking kidding me? That was cut from the movie, and that one specific cameo I was hoping to see, he was gonna be in the post credits, and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like just I'm now a little bit more pissed. Like just pretty much we were just robbed. We were robbed. Well, like, I mean, I guess it would make sense for, like, he, that it didn't feel right for him to appear in the movie for whatever character I won't. But, like, I'll be sure to put a link in the description below of the articles of the rumored stuff, of the deleted stuff. Like, just this, there's just, there's a, there's going to be a deleted fight scene that I'm like, are you kidding me? Because I have been desperate just to see this guy again. Just, oh, I'm just pissed. Like, just, are you kidding me? We were freaking robbed! But just, still, you know, I just, I'm just a bit upset, but, uh, straight off right off the bat, thank freaking God I was not entirely spoiled with this movie. Now, technically, technically, I was spoiled, but for some of the things I knew, or that I knew, I kind of figured, but let's just say that I dodged the biggest spoiler for me, which would which, thank God, because I, 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 I still can't believe Marvel did that. But just, um, finally, the last thing I dodged, I pretty much was just straight up spoiled. But, like, but just, like I said earlier, I have not, I have not been fully spoiled. Now, the last thing I, I was, I, I sort of dodged, but technically was spoiled entirely. I kind of saw it coming. I figured it was going to happen, and I will be sure to talk about it in my spoiler review. But just... Yeah, but I just, I just, oh man, Marvel, you, Marvel, you could sometimes get on my nerves on some stuff, but that's just, that's rare, that's rare, that's rare, you know, you know, for you just to get on my nerves on whatever it is, because just, like, just, yeah, I, I can never hate Marvel Studios, I just, I just love, I just love Marvel Studios, like, just, God, I love the studio. That's what I'm trying to say, is that I now love Marvel Studios 3,000 times two, which would be equaling whatever that would equal, but, uh, don't consider this as a spoiler, but I know how we wanted a Toby cameo in here so that we could have a reunion with Toby McGuire and Sam Raimi, but that will happen one day with Spider-Man 4. Hashtag make Spider-Man 4, by the way. But on, on, but all of my points, let's just say that I'm glad Toby was not in this movie, especially if he were a member of the Illuminati or not, because let's just say that once you see it, you'll be glad because here's just here's the last thing i i i, I gotta say and i, I i'm, I'm kind of wishing i made this video way back like i wish i made this video as soon as i was done making uh rain notes for this but just yeah school's been crazy mainly weird but this month has been weird and like i said earlier i'm gonna save all my thoughts on on may for when i guess june arrives and then i'll cover a month review for may of 2022. But here's the last thing I gotta say. Don't be fooled with the PG-13 rating, because this movie is legit dark. It is actually pretty dark, and it is one of the most, is one of the most gruesome, brutal MCU movies I have ever seen. Like, there's some scenes that are, that, that, that are close to being R-rating kills. 
that 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 pretty much would have scarred me. Like just there's some R there like some of the scenes in here are close to being R rating kills that had pretty much scarred me for life. But I would definitely suggest not bringing any kids to see this movie because. Like, like I said, I'm not kidding with this movie being the MCU's first horror movie because there are some jump scares and some nasty kills that will have <laughs> that will score your kid for life. But um, I there's just one thing, another thing I should say about the bat. I know that uh, Dead Me James James and Eunice isn't doesn't know much of the MCU and that like there's a video he did that he wouldn't like do kill counts for the MCU movies and all that. But like just here's a request. Here's a request I have for Dead Me. I hope he doesn't kill Count from Multiverse of Madness. Yes, it's a superhero movie, but it's legit a horror movie. Like, just, I'm hoping he doesn't kill Count on Multiverse of Madness. Like, he has to, man. He has to. And be sure to subscribe to Demi if you haven't. Now, even though the Marvel, even though Marvel fans aren't fully loving this movie 100%, and that either some of the, either just, I messed that up. Let me, I'm sorry. Uh, let me just redo that. Now, even though so, even though some of the fan base were just, even though some God, I'm annoyed myself, and it, I swear to God, it's getting hot in here. I know that my dad said that the AC is fine, but like, I don't know. Like, I don't feel anything blasting from there, and that I'm actually hold, okay. I'm gonna have the fan be near me, so just oh, hold on. A second. Uh, all right, I have a thing on. I should now have no issue reading this now. Even though Marvel fans aren't fully hundred percent loving this movie. And that either some or most of them are giving this a 6 to a 7.5 out of 10 rating. Uh, second of all, I try to ignore that because what's special about this movie is that it's directed by Sam freaking Raimi. I could have, I could have, ha I could have a soft spot for him probably because he gave us our childhood movies with Tobey Maguire as Spider Man, and that I badly wanted to direct Spider Man Four and give us what, what, what. We didn't what we didn't see years ago. Plus, he, he said that he's up for it. He says he's up for it. So we we're close. We're close. It's coming. That reunion between Tommy McGuire and Sam Raimi is close, ladies and gentlemen. But just um, so yeah, he's plus he's up to make one. He's up to make Spider-Man four. So we're probably close to having Spider-Man four, like I said earlier. But I really have I really felt bad about him feeling like he let everyone down with Spider-Man three, which Sam Raimi. It was never your fault. It was Sony's fault, especially with where, what they did with that post credit scene for Morbius, which I will talk about once I cover a review for Morbius. I will have a review for Morbius. I will. It, it's going to happen. But yeah, um, it was. It was. So yeah, it was all Sony's fault, especially. Okay, I've already mentioned. Damn, it's like I memorized it. It's like I memorized it without even reading the thing. Like just. I I don't I don't know I I I don't know. But basically, I'm just. Basically, I'm just glad he got to direct another superhero movie because, ladies and gentlemen, Sam Raimi is bad, baby. Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness may be flawed, and yeah, I'll agree. I, it could have been better, but hey, they, they managed to make me still like this. I I can't. I'm not talking correctly. It's it's a little bit hot in here. Plus, my voice feels a little bit throat because I've been on Fortnite lately, screaming because I just been getting killed multiple times. I'm getting off topic. Okay, still so yeah. Yeah, it could it could have been better, but still, whether but still though, um, I'm it, what's mostly gonna be a guilt. It's mainly gonna be a guilty plus. Just okay, I'm not talking correctly. Um, I'm gonna go get my water bottle. <sighs> Always drink water, ladies and gentlemen. All right, hey, right, turn the tap, turn the tap. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, like, so yeah, Multiverse of Madness may be flawed, and yeah, it could have been better, but it's most likely going to be a guilty pleasure for me, and this movie will be very special. It'll be very special for me because of Sam Raimi as the director, along with his horror elements in the in 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 this movie, for which would make this the MCU's first horror movie. But yeah, um, uh, I got I got I gotta give him that, you know, for the horror elements because it's just. I don't know why I didn't clap in the th Actually, I do know why I didn't clap by the end of Multiverse of Madness. Because uh, that ending, it made me question if I was kind of right on calling it that there would be a possible cliffhanger. Because I, 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 I figured we, this movie could be split in two parts. But uh, sadly, no. Or not sadly. Or not sadly. No, I don't know. But I, I figured this would be split in two parts because of that ending. But just 
<laughs> Still, I had I'm I'll be sure to talk about the ending in my spoiler review. Plus, there are two post credit scenes. Uh, one is something I'm very confused, which I was confused, but then later in the next couple of days, I I watched some videos and then understood better, and I would like to talk about the post credit scene. Uh, but yeah, and then the second is definitely is de- it's definitely a funny one. I I would say I would say uh, I would def- I cannot. I cannot talk. I I'm Okay, I'm gonna go double check on Rylan. Alright, also long ladies and gentlemen. Uh Rylan wanted a charger for something because he wants to play Sonic.exe, whatever it was, containing some blood, which I guess he's talking about that scary Sonic dude. And speaking about Sonic. Yeah, I'll talk about that for my review for Chippendale, which I have watch recently <laughs> but as i was saying uh so yeah there are two post credit scenes one i was confused about but now know a little bit and i will talk about in my spoiler review second is a uh funny one but i would definitely have you guys check it out because uh like i would I, I would have you guys definitely check this out uh because it's a fun roller coaster from start to finish from Ultimate versus madness so yeah for my official rating for this movie like i said earlier uh yeah it could have been better but screw it i'm calling it a freaking masterpiece it's gonna be a 10 out of 10 and I, I don't know where I'm going to be ranking it for my MCU rank. I have trouble just ranking all MCU projects, but if anything, it's probably going to be somewhere in my top 10 list. But yeah, uh, for those of you that have not seen it, yeah, not only am I going to put some dirt in your eye, just which I'm saying that, you know, because of the Spider-Man reference and Sam Raimi directed in the Sam Raimi trilogy. But still, uh, I would have, I definitely would recommend you guys checking this out. But yeah, my refresher rank will be a 10 out of 10. But anyways, that's just my thoughts on Multiverse of Madness, which is my spoiler review. Ah, uh, I'm going to be uncomfortable with this video. Mainly because there's just some parts I wish, I, I would want, I just, I just wish I made this video on my phone. Sadly, just, this was probably dumb to have it or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this month has just been weird, which just makes me feel like, okay, am I not myself? Because like this month has just, just. Okay, like I said, I'm going to save all that for my month of you. But anyways, be sure to let me know your thoughts on comments down below for Multiverse of Madness. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for much more review, which I'm hoping I'll be able, be able to make tomorrow. But um, yeah, as always, I'll see you guys. Actually, one more thing to mention that has to do with Marvel Studios. Monday night, we get the second trailer for Thor, Love, and Thunder. And uh, here's what I'm hoping to see. Gore the God Butcher. There, that's all I got to say. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.